Well, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Time now for some hot takes from Brian Sazi and myself. Brian, you're looking at GameStop's latest drawdown in September. Now, this stock, of course, had been a darling of that Wall Street Bets Reddit trade earlier this year, but it looks like some of that enthusiasm may be fading. What's your take on this move? Well, uh, if we're just going by the Twitter reaction since I posted this story on Yahoo Finance uh, yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, I would say uh, the enthusiasm amongst the hardcore, the hardcore of GameStop fans remains intact. Uh, it's a lot of their responses that can't really discuss here on Air Emily. Air Emily. But uh, yeah, so, so far, September to date, it has been an awful month for GameStop. Any way you slice it, I mean, the stock is down about 12.5% month to date, according to uh, our data, the S&P 500 is uh, down slightly, about 2% uh, over that same time span. So GameStop shares are underperforming on a relative basis versus the S&P 500. And a couple things going on here. Uh, I will actually mention real quickly, too, the stock is down 46%. It's hitting a record high on January 27th. A couple things going on here, uh, Emily. First is the the in, the action uh, on GameStop appears to be slowing down on Wall Street bets. And this is more I get, I get into more on this. Uh, in my piece now on Yahoo Finance, but really, uh, redditors are talking less about GameStop on Wall Street bets for whatever reason. Also, internet mentions of GameStop have crashed since mid-August. Shout out to the fine folks at Swaggy Stocks, which they track social media sentiment on Wall Street bets. I really enjoy that site. So really, sentiment has fallen uh, pretty drastically on GameStop. Less people are talking about it. And I think part of the reason why, Emily, they are talking about it less, you want to talk about perhaps People going back to work, kids back in school, perhaps a little bit, a little bit less meme stock retail trading. I understand, but also too, let's keep in mind, uh, GameStop just reported earnings a couple weeks ago. They held about a 20-minute earnings call. No real uh, guideline or path forward on what they plan to do. You have the new CEO there, uh, Matt Furlong. You have Ryan Cohen out there in terms of executive chairman. What do you plan to do to justify the valuation your company now trains at? Uh, they have effectively said nothing to anyone. Their meme stock lovers, the institutional investors that are still involved in the stock, they said squat. So I think you are seeing a little bit of a meme stock revolt against GameStop not uh, telling folks what they plan to do to save the company. Really good points, Brian. I mean, like you mentioned, really is kind of this uh, dual-sided argument here for why we are seeing this drawdown a bit now for GameStop. Uh, like you mentioned, there are those fundamental arguments. And then, of course, as you mentioned, we did have a number of strategists earlier on in the spring and summer talking about the fact that uh, once a lot of these retail traders who've just gotten into the market go back to work uh, in person, aren't necessarily able to log on and check their brokerage accounts throughout the day, uh, that, is, that is something that could impact that retail participation. And uh, of course, not definitive at this point, whether that's really what's going on here. But as you said, we can at least observe that de those decreases in mentions on Wall Street bets.